Egypt is a place of true mystery. Pyramids, pharaohs, and mummies aren't the only things going on in this ancient land. Under the sand, there are many buried things which defy normal scientific explanation, and a lot of people blame aliens. Of course, it's always aliens. <laughs> From the ancient shipwreck to the giant mystery boxes, here's the 20 strangest things recently discovered in Egypt. <sighs> Number 20. Ancient Egyptian Shipwreck Archaeologists have discovered a 2,200-year-old shipwreck in the Mediterranean Sea that sank after being struck by falling masonry when the Amun Temple was demolished in an earthquake. The wreck was discovered beneath the ancient city of Heracleion, which was wrecked by earthquakes almost 1,200 years ago and sank into the ocean along with the remnants of a burial area. The ship, known as a fast galley, is 25 meters long and has a flat keel, which was customary for crossing the Nile River and the Delta, according to experts. According to a statement released on Facebook by the Egyptian Ministry of Tourism and Antiquities, they also discovered a big sail and other proof suggesting the ship was built in Egypt. The ship sunk as a result of the temple's collapse and massive stones falling on it during a terrible earthquake in the 2nd century BC, according to the statement. The fall of these stone blocks contributed to keeping the ship down the deep canal now filled with temple debris. The galley lies buried beneath 5 meters of clay on the sea floor, together with temple ruins. The tomb was also surrounded by tumulus, a mound of rocks that was used to mark burials in ancient times. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Time for the rare topic. Way back in the past, scientists in Egypt claimed to have found a death mask that definitely did not belong to any human. This image is a secret representation of that mask by an artist who was on the expedition. They believed that this was an ancient death mask belonging to an ancient king who died on a voyage to visit Egypt 4,000 years ago. But it seems that mask is also cursed, so it has been hidden in a vault below ground ever since, in case it causes the apocalypse. What scientists found in Egypt has left people speechless. Do you think this belonged to an alien? What kind of aliens were they? Remember to comment down below with the hashtag RareTopic and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed on screen. And now, to the next topic. Number 19. 100 Ton Stone Boxes the Egyptian sarcophagus with the enigmatic black sarcophagus has been opened. Since it was discovered in Alexandria, the odd black granite box has sparked speculation and intrigue. Some even urged that it not be opened for fear of unleashing a horrifying curse. Can't think of any recent events that might be related to that, can you? It was discovered close to a massive alabaster skull, which further added to the intrigue of what was within. According to Egypt's Ministry of Antiquities, researchers opened the creepy box to discover it filled with nasty water and three skeletons. According to the government, the water entered the box through a sewer ditch. It's possible that it caused the mummies to deteriorate, leaving just their skeletons behind. The bodies are most likely warriors. Experts say one of them looks to have been hit by an arrow and has a wound from it. According to local sources, authorities from the Ministry of Antiquities dismissed claims that opening the tomb might release demonic spirits or curses. In reality, it looked to be devoid of any kind of note. Inside the casket, there were no inscriptions or artifacts that might indicate the dead belonged to a member of an ancient royal family for example. Number 18. Farmer discovers 2,600-year-old stone slab from Egyptian pharaoh. 
According to the Egyptian Antiquities Ministry, a farmer in Ismailia, in Egypt, discovered a 2,600-year-old stela, created by Pharaoh Apris, who reigned from 589 BC to 570 BC. The farmer discovered the old block of sandstone while preparing his field for agriculture approximately 62 miles northeast of Cairo, according to the ministry statement. He subsequently notified the tourism and antiquities police about the find, the stella is 91 inches in length, 41 inches in width, and 18 inches in thickness. A sculpture of a winged sun disk, a disk that was sometimes connected with the sun deity Ra, with a cartouche of Pharaoh Apris, sits at the top of the stella, with 15 lines of hieroglyphic text below it, according to the statement. Apris, also known as Wahibra Hybre, ruled during Egypt's 26th dynasty, 688 BC to 525 BC, a period when the country was autonomous and its capital was frequently in size, northern Egypt. The stela is still being translated. The stela appears to be connected to a military operation undertaken by a priest east of Egypt, according to Mostafa Wazari, secretary general of the Supreme Council of Antiquities. Apris conducted a lost battle against the Phoenicians, according to Herodotus, about 484 to 425 BC, which killed many Egyptian troops and created a civil war in Egypt, which ended with Apris being slain and replaced as pharaoh by a man named Amazis. It's unknown whether his stella will offer additional light on these occurrences. Number 17. Hidden Chamber in the Great Pyramid According to experts, a passenger plane-sized void has been uncovered in the midst of Egypt's Great Pyramid, where it has lay concealed and undisturbed for 4,500 years. The room, together with the king and queen's apartments, and the grand gallery is one of four cavities discovered inside the massive structure built by ancient Egyptian pharaoh Khufu. It is big, said co-discoverer Mehdi Teobi, of the Scan Pyramids project, which has been utilizing non-invasive technologies and subatomic particle scans to explore Khufu's pyramid since October 2015. It's the size of a 200-seater airplane, in the heart of the pyramid, Tayubi said of the finding, which was reported in the science journal Nature, the Khufu's Pyramid, which stands beside lesser pyramids for monarchs, Menkaur and Khafre, as well as the Great Sphinx on the outskirts of Cairo, is the oldest and only surviving structure among the seven wonders of the ancient world, as well as one of the biggest structures ever created on Earth. According to the study team, the hollow is the first large structure structure discovered inside the Great Pyramid since the 19th century, there have been many theories about the existence of secret chambers inside the Great Pyramid, Tayubi remarked but none have predicted anything this big. The void's actual shape and size are unknown, as are its purpose and its contents. Number 16. Pharaoh Khufu's Boat the Khufu ship is an undamaged full-size solar bark from ancient Egypt that was sealed into a hole circa 2500 BC at the foot of King Khufu's Great Pyramid in the Giza Pyramid Complex during the Fourth Dynasty of the Old Kingdom of Egypt. It was reportedly part of the elaborate burial goods designed for use in the afterlife, like other buried ancient Egyptian ships. Khufu's ship is one of antiquity's oldest, biggest, and best preserved boats. It measures 43.4 meters in length and 5.9 meters in width. It was discovered to be the world's oldest unbroken ship and has been characterized as a masterpiece of woodcraft that could still sail today if placed in a lake or river. The ship was kept in the Giza Solar Boat Museum until August 2021, when it was moved to the Grand Egyptian Museum. The ship's history and intended purpose are unknown 
known, it's a solar barge, a sacred watercraft used to transport the resurrected monarchs and the sun deity Ra through the skies. However, it shows traces of having been used in water, so it's plausible that the ship was either a funeral barge used to transport the king's embalmed body from Memphis to Giza, or that Khufu himself used it as a pilgrimage ship to visit holy sites and subsequently buried it for use in the afterlife. Unlike northern European ship burials, it did not include any bodies. Number 15. 1,200 ton unfinished obelisk at Aswan, Egypt. The unfinished obelisk is the world's biggest known ancient obelisk, and it can be found near Aswan, Egypt, in the northern area of ancient Egypt's stone quarries. Reginald Angelbach investigated it in depth in 1922, Hatshepsut, 1508 to 1458 BC, ordered its construction probably to complement what would eventually be known as the Lateran Obelisk, which was originally at Karnak and was later brought to the Lateran Palace in Rome. The incomplete obelisk is approximately a third of the size of any other ancient Egyptian obelisk ever built. It would have been 41.75 meters long and weighed roughly 1,090 tons when completed, the equivalent of about 200 African elephants. The obelisk's architects attempted to cut it directly out of bedrock, but fissures in the granite forced them to abandon the endeavor. The obelisk's lower side is still linked to the bedrock. The incomplete obelisk provides unique insights into ancient Egyptian stone working processes, with tool traces and ochre colored lines indicating where employees were working still evident. In 2005, an incomplete, partially worked obelisk base was discovered in the quarries of Aswan, in addition to the unfinished obelisk. Number 14. The Lost Golden City The 3,000-year-old Golden City was built during the reign of Amenhotep III, one of Egypt's most powerful pharaohs, who ruled for over four centuries in the 1300s BC. The excavated ancient city, replete with mud-brick buildings and antiquities, is today regarded as valuable as Howard Carter's 1922 discovery of King Tutankhamun's tomb. Many outsiders have searched for the city but have never discovered it, according to archaeologist Sahi Hawass. It is undeniably an archaeological breakthrough and crucial historical finding. He noted that the the long-lost metropolis, which goes back to what is called Ancient Egypt's Golden Era, the era under King Amenhotep, was once the Pharaonic Empire's greatest administrative and industrial town. Aten is another name for the city. Last year, archaeologists began excavating in the region in search of King Tutankhamun's funerary temple. Archaeologists discovered mud-brick formations that turned out to be a well-preserved massive metropolis within weeks, according to the statement. The Associated Press writes that city walls and even rooms filled with utensils used in daily life are said to be present. According to the press release, the archaeological layers have laid untouched for thousands of years, left by the ancient residents as if it were yesterday. Number 13. Ancient Egyptian Tombs Were Crammed Full of Snacks the afterlife munchies of King Tutankhamun are shown in this video. Professor Salima Ikram, an Egyptologist and a famous specialist in Egyptian funerary archaeology, displays some of the preserved delicacies of the young king, including beef, fowl, and dates with the seeds removed. Ikram explains in this PBS Nova review, I think they were obsessed with life. They knew that the life they had on Earth was going to be of limited duration, most Egyptians died by the time they were 40. So they wanted to have a better afterlife. What you see in the tombs is a really careful preparation for eternity, so that everyone would have a very good time. You may find a variety of ordinary things in both royal and non-royal tombs, including various types of furniture, beds and chairs. There would be jewelry, clothing and cosmetics, as well as plenty of food, wine and beer. 
There is even one of Tutankhamun's folding camping beds in his tomb, which he used when he went out into the desert. Tutankhamun was a pharaoh who lived in 1342 to 1325 BC. In 1922, his grave was found, causing worldwide excitement. A solid gold coffin, face mask, thrones, archery bows, trumpets, a lotus chalice, food, wine, sandals, and fresh linen underwear were among the 5,398 items discovered in the tomb. Number 12. Mummified Babies Found in Tutankhamun's Tomb Mummies 317A and 317B were Tutankhamun's baby girls, and their mother was most likely his great royal wife, Ankhesenamun, who has been tentatively identified as the mummy KV21A. They were entombed in their father's tomb, which Howard Carter found in 1922. Mother 317A belongs to a girl who was born prematurely at five to six months gestation, whereas as Mummy 317B belongs to a girl who was delivered at or near full term. These children's identities have not been preserved. These princesses together with Ankhesen Paten Tasharit and Meriditen Tasharit may represent the 18th dynasty's final generation. The mummies were discovered in a modest wooden box in the treasury's northeastern corner. Robbers had taken the cover off in antiquity. Head to toe, the anthropologists Poid coffins were laid side by side. To fit 317B into the box, chips were removed from the foot of the coffin. The exterior coffin was coated in black resin, with gilded bands that merely named the deceased as the Osiris, while the interior coffins were covered in gold foil. The outer coffins were sealed with linen bands with jackal mud seals over nine chained prisoners. Eight tenons connected the lid of the outer casket to the base. Number 11. Valley of Golden Mummies the Valley of the Golden Mummies is a massive Greco-Roman burial site in Egypt's western desert. Located in Baharia Oasis, Sahi Hawass and his Egyptian crew discovered roughly 250 mummies that were approximately 2,000 years old over the course of many months in 1996. The excavator eventually calculated that there were almost 10,000 mummies in total. When Hawass and his colleagues discovered the mummies, many of them were still in fair condition. They were decorated in a variety of designs. At Baharia, there were four different types of mummies. The first type had a golden mask covering the face and a gilded waistcoat portraying diverse sceneries of gods and goddesses over the chest, which was found on roughly 60 mummies. The cartonnage on the second type depicts scenes of gods such as Anubis, the deity of mummifications, and his four offspring. The third style was put within an arthropoid, a clay coffin rather than being ornamented with gold or cartonnage. Linen was used to cover the fourth style. Each mummy has been interred with artifacts, jewelry, bracelets, food trays, wine jars, and Ptolemaic coins are just a few examples. Mummies discovered in Roman graves in the Baharia Oasis prove that the inhabitants of the time were rich since they could afford gilding and cartonnage showing beautiful scenery. Number 10. Lost Ancient Egyptian Sun Temple Discovered Thousands of ancient buildings, even entire towns, have been found by Egyptian archaeologists. The six sun temples built by the 5th dynasty pharaohs, on the other hand, have been difficult to locate. Until recently, just two have been discovered, with the latest one discovered 50 years ago. Dr. Massimiliano Nazolo, a Polish Academy of Sciences associate professor of Egyptology, announced the discovery of a third lost sun temple near Abu Ghraib, some 12 miles south of Cairo, on November 16, 2021. 
Unlike the stone-built sun temples previously discovered, this one was constructed using mud bricks. It was found by scientists in 1898, buried beneath Nusera's sun temple. Nusera was the sixth pharaoh of the fifth dynasty, reigning from 2400 to 2370 BCE. Despite the fact that the new find is physically comparable to Nusera's sun temple, Dr. Nuzolo believes it was not erected by the pharaoh. According to the expert, Egyptian Egyptian pharaohs did not use stone to construct their mud structures. Furthermore, the items discovered within, including beer jars filled with ceremonial mud, are from the mid-25th century BCE, a generation or two before New Sarah's time. Number 9. Secret of Sphinx Discovered the gigantic old lion with a human head that appears to be sitting on the rocky plateau of a short distance from the Great Pyramids has been connected with mystery like no other human accomplishment. Fortunately for Mark Lenner, the Sphinx isn't merely a metaphor for a riddle. Little was known about who built it, when it was built, what it symbolized, and how it linked to the neighboring pharaonic structures. So Lenner moved down, spending five years working out a makeshift office between the Sphinx's huge paws, subsisting on Nescafe and cheese sandwiches while inspecting every square inch of the building. Like the Lilliputians on Gulliver, I climbed all over the Sphinx, mapping it stone by stone, he recalls. The end result was a very precise image of the statue's weathered, patched surface, which has undergone at least five significant restoration attempts since 1400 BC. He received a degree in Egyptology from Yale University as a result of his study. Lenner, who is now regarded as one of the world's foremost Egyptologists and Sphinx experts, has spent most of the 37 years after his initial visit at Giza conducting field study. The Sphinx was carved from a single mass of limestone, uncovered when miners dug a horseshoe-shaped quarry in the Giza Plateau, rather than piece by piece. It is one of the world's largest and oldest monolithic monuments at 66 feet tall and 240 feet long. Number 8. Egyptian Archaeologists Discovered an Intricately Carved Plaster Sarcophagus Portraying a Wide-Eyed Egypt's Antiquities Department revealed Monday that researchers unearthed an exquisitely sculpted plaster coffin depicting a wide-eyed lady wrapped in a tunic in a freshly excavated complex of tombs at a distant desert oasis. According to archaeologist Mahmoud Afifi, who supervised the dig, it is the first Roman-style mummy discovered in the Baharia Oasis, which is located 186 miles southwest of Cairo. The tomb was discovered as part of a Greco-Roman cemetery that had 14 graves. It is a unique find, he told the Associated Press, confirming that initial exclamations indicate a mummy is inside the coffin, he continued. We know the mummy is a woman. She may be a young lady, or she could have been a short woman, since mummies usually shrink, the Supreme Council of Antiquities chairman, Sahi Hawass, told reporters. The three-foot-long sculpted plaster coffin depicts a lady dressed in a long tunic, headscarf, bracelet, and shoes, as well as a beaded necklace. The sarcophagus's eye had colored stones in them, giving the impression that she was awake. Number 7. Mummy with Golden Tongue Found in Egypt Archaeologists discovered two graves amid the ruins of the ancient Egyptian city of Oxyrhynchus in what is now El Panasa, containing the mummified remains of a man and woman who died some 2,500 years ago. During the dig, the crew discovered three gold foil tongues, which were a one-of-a-kind discovery. One of the graves had never been uncovered, which added to the surprise. This is very important. Esther Pons Malato, co-director of the archaeological expedition from the University of Barcelona, says Nada El Sai of the National, because it's rare to find a tomb that is completely sealed. A scarab amulet, 
four canopic jars used in the mummification process, and more than 400 pieces of faience. In the shape of miniature funeral figurines made of glazed porcelain were among the artifacts found in the sealed tomb, a male sarcophagus built of limestone. According to Sebastian Ketley of the Daily Express, the mummy's face was also beautifully preserved, with a golden tongue remaining within his mouth. We're still looking at the inscriptions on the vessels, Mate Mascourt, a mission co-founder alongside Mulatto, told reporters. Number 6. Screaming Mummy According to recent study, an Egyptian woman who was mummified with her lips open in a wordless scream may have died of a heart attack. The mummy's commuted tomography scan revealed extensive atherosclerosis or fatty plaque deposits within the blood arteries. According to Egyptologists, the woman died alone of a heart attack and was not discovered for several hours, by which time rigor mortis had set in. Her jaw, which had maybe fallen open before her death, was then locked open indefinitely. Outside researchers, on the other hand, are doubtful of this account. Mummification takes a long time, while rigor mortis only lasts a few days, according to Andrew Wade, an anthropologist at McMaster University. It is far more more likely that the wrappings around the jaw were simply not tight enough to hold the mouth closed, as it does tend to fall into an open position if left to its own devices, Wade added. The mummy was discovered in 1881, more than a century ago. She was buried in Deir el-Bahari, a tomb complex located on the other bank of the Nile from Luxor. Her wrappings had the name Meridamun, but Egyptologists aren't sure who she was. Meridamun was the name of several princesses in ancient Egypt, including the daughter of Sekinenra-Ta II, the 17th dynasty ruler of Thebes, who ruled around 1558 BC, and the daughter of the powerful Ramses II also known as Ramses the Great, who became pharaoh in 1279 BC. Number 5. The Coffins of Saqqara Egypt has announced the discovery of 54 wooden coffins at the Saqqara necropolis south of Cairo, several of which date back 3,000 years to the New Kingdom period, according to noted archaeologist Zahi Hawass, who led the archaeological project. The funeral temple of Queen Night was unearthed near the pyramid of her husband, King Teti of Egypt's Sixth Dynasty, which dates back 4,200 years. The Tourism and Antiquities Ministry said in a statement that the coffins, or sarcophagi, include the first dating back to the New Kingdom that were discovered in Saqqara, a UNESCO World Heritage Site that is home to the Steppe Pyramid. <laughs> Many of them are still intact, carved in human form and painted in vibrant colors. There were also ancient games, sculptures, and masks discovered. All of these discoveries will rewrite Saqqara's and the New Kingdom's history, Hawass added. Officials are eager to show off freshly unearthed antiquities in an effort to boost tourist numbers after the coronavirus outbreak dealt a severe hit to the tourism sector. Last year, the number of visitors who visited the nation fell to 3.5 million from 13.1 million in 2019. Number 4. New evidence in 2020 lost Queen Nefertiti may be hidden in King Tut's tomb. A radar study of Tutankhamun's tomb in Egypt's Valley of the Kings has uncovered probable indications of subterranean rooms below the tomb's walls. The findings, which were revealed in an unpublished paper reviewed by Nature, revive a contentious hypothesis that the young king's tomb conceals the presence of a bigger tomb containing the legendary Egyptian queen Nefertiti. Researchers headed by former Egyptian antiquities minister Mamdo al utilized ground-penetrating radar to examine the region immediately surrounding Tutankhamun's tomb. They claim to have discovered an undiscovered 
covered corridor-like area, a few meters from the burial chamber, their discovery was just presented to Egypt's Supreme Council of Antiquities. The findings are extremely exciting, says Ray Johnson, an Egyptologist at the Oriental Institute of the University of Chicago in Luxor, Egypt, who was not engaged in the study. Clearly, there is something on the other side of the burial chamber's north wall. Several teams have already looked at the potential of additional rooms beyond Tutankhamun's tomb, typically in collaboration with commercial enterprises. However, the results were mixed, and many academics discarded the theory. For example, Francesco Porcelli, an Italian physicist who led a GPR study within the tomb in 2017, claims that his findings rule out the presence of secret chambers connected to the tomb. Number 3. Silver Pharaoh Director of Science, National History and Features Programs, and series executive producer William R. Grant says, the Silver Pharaoh fills a missing link in Egyptian history. Equally compelling is the backstory of his discovery. It unfolds like a thriller worthy of Hollywood plots. With this archaeological journey, we're pleased to start off new episodes of Secrets of the Dead. Egyptologists consider Susin's the first's tomb to be one of ancient Egypt's most important items. An archaeologist stumbled into it practically by accident while excavating a looted tomb only ten yards away. The artistry of the casket and the wealth found within the tomb showed that Susens was a powerful ruler. Scholars, on the other hand, understood little about his life and times. Recent research now creates a picture of a political genius. Aside from the tomb's valuable contents, it also holds a plethora of archaeological data regarding Egypt's enigmatic Third Intermediate Period, Egypt was a broken country at the time, divided between opposing North and South kings. From Thebes, high priests acquired control of the southern area. While ousted pharaohs were banished north to Tanis, this province was governed by the Susans for 46 years. In comparison to Tutankhamun, whose reign lasted a decade, this was a remarkable achievement. In reality, Susans' Bones revealed a diligent man who lived well into his 80s despite suffering from a terrible rheumatic condition. His physical toughness helped him become a great leader who finally brought Egypt together. Number 2. More Than 40 Ancient Greek Mummies Discovered in Egypt According to Egypt's Antiquities Ministry, researchers unearthed more than 40 mummies dating from the Ptolemaic dynasty at a burial site in central Egypt. Adults, children, and animals were among the mummies discovered on the floor or in open clay coffins in a decaying underground chamber in Minya Governorate, according to Antiquities Minister Khaled Helenani. During a ceremony at the Tuna Al Gabal site, 260 kilometers south of Cairo, he informed authorities and media, So far we have more than 40 mummies. 40 mummies were discovered, archaeologist Rami Rasmi told AFP, including 12 children and 6 animals, while the rest were adult men and women. While mummification is most commonly associated with ancient Egypt, it was also used throughout Ptolemy's reign, which lasted from 323 BC to 30 BC, and was created by a successful to Alexander the Great. The Minya tombs were uncovered in a communal tomb, probably belonging to a pretty bourgeois family. During an excavation that began in February of last year, two graves with more than six chambers were unearthed, nine meters down, according to archaeologist Mohammed Ragab. According to Egypt's Supreme Council of Antiquities, President Mustafa Waziri, shards of pottery and bits of papyrus discovered at the site, assisted archaeologists in determining its date. Between Alexander the Great's conquest and the emergence of the Roman Empire, ancient Greek monarchs attained the pinnacle of their authority. Number 1. Mummified World's Largest Scarab Beetle 
Egyptian archaeologists have announced the discovery of a unique collection of mummified scarab beetles, as well as a seemingly flawless 5th dynasty tomb that they aim to uncover. The mummified beetles were among the treasures unearthed in seven tombs on the outskirts of the King Userkhof pyramid complex at the ancient necropolis of Saqqara, south of Cairo, over six months. Archaeologists discovered the door to another tomb that remains shut while preparing the site to unveil the recent finds, according to Mustafa Wazari, Secretary General of Egypt's Supreme Council of Antiquities. According to Mohammed Youssef, director of the Saqqara region, the tomb dates from the 5th dynasty of the Old Kingdom and is remarkable in that the facade and door are completely intact, indicating that the tomb's contents may still remain unspoiled. Experts aim to uncover the tomb soon. According to him, the 5th dynasty dynasty governed Egypt from around 2500 BC to 2350 BC, not long after the construction of the Great Pyramid of Giza. The tombs are located on a partially excavated subterranean ridge that might yield many more comparable findings, according to Wazari. Excavations in the region were put on hold in 2013, but they were restarted recently. Do you think aliens visited ancient Egypt? What happened to all their old gods? Let us know in the comments below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.